Okay, here she is. Look at all that art, you guys. <laughs> Resin art, luster pigments by Color Art are just <sighs> breathtaking. I I wish you were here in person just to see how beautiful all of this is and sparkly and orange and yes it's so beautiful uh used gold spray paint the white alumilite opaque colorant to give me cells and i'm still working on my swiping gig you guys will see that but uh, i did have to speed up the video resin does take a while so instead of making you guys sit in two parts for like 45 minutes a piece you know that's kind of how it goes with a large piece like this so I did put it to music there is an absolutely amazing artist that I'm featuring his name is Eula I also have links to his songs as well he is a singer uh, well he's a vocalist a mixer and he plays so many different instruments and it's everything you hear in the song is all done by him unless he's doing a collab with somebody but it is just absolutely amazing and I really think this guy is going to go places, so I wanted to feature him. It really touched me, and it's amazing how the song goes to the piece. So I'll give you a close-up, and between Pro Marine, Craftney, Color Art, and Arteza, you know, those are the products that I've been working with. I hope you'll give them a try. They are just, each of them have their own amazing qualities in their own way you know and it's amazing how all of this stuff can come together this is going to be one hard piece to let go because you guys know about me and orange <laughs> so i hope you like it i hope you'll get some resin art pigments because they are gorgeous look at that isn't that amazing okay enough chat let's do it so I have a resin piece that I'm doing this is a 18 by 18 pine board you can get them at Home Depot I really like them they're nice and thick they're easy to sand easy to prime we're using resin art pigments by color art so I'm doing my resin I like to leave my stick in the cup when I'm stirring I scrape my sides I try to get down in the corners uh, these cups are great if you leave them on their side with with the stick in it or you don't have to leave the stick in it you can peel it out and whatever's left you wipe out with acetone it's all good. If you buy the acetone from Home Depot or a hardware store, it's a lot cheaper. I always like to let my resin, resin sit. Bubbles will pop. As long as you, like, aren't whipping it and just stirring it, that minute will really do you a lot of justice when it comes to torching. I double glove. I do have, like, they're almost like dishwashing gloves, but they're not as, like, crazy looking as dishwashing gloves. So, anyway pretty well mixed like I'm not seeing strings anymore so I'm gonna let this sit like a minute and we'll be back and ready to go I have 99 <laughs> this is 99% alcohol and then this is 100% acetone acetone gets resin off your gloves a lot easier and quicker the alcohol is what I'll use for big messes or something Give this one more stir you can see the bubbles are almost gone no more than 10 percent and see what color i got because i know i'm gonna have to add black to it to make that brown. Ugh, it's so close to orange. Eh. 
Isn't that pretty? Ooh, like a chocolate brown.
you go. Thank you for watching. Bye.